I am so pleased to bring up the rest of our Friday Night House Team Rubber Legs! Hello, friends. We are Rubber Legs. My name is Brad. Tom. Fuller. Bagley. Jimmy. Alyssa. And uh, we're going to do some long-form improv for you tonight. That means we take one suggestion at the top, uh, we're going to do some monologues and then some scenes. Spoiler alert, going to get weird. Uh, <laughs> it's never been seen before. It'll never be seen again. And we're psyched to bring it to you. So with that in mind, can I get a suggestion uh, like a, a line of poetry or a song lyric or something that's, that's stuck in your head? Call me maybe. Call me maybe. Call me maybe. So... Call Me Maybe reminds me of, uh, so I'm an attorney. While I was studying for the bar exam, I was working and I was doing banquets. Um, and so there was a wedding every weekend. And that particular summer was the summer that that song dropped. And so um, that song and Journeys Don't Stop Believing are now like songs that I can't really hear without thinking of weddings because literally every single wedding had like a flash mob choreographed dance piece to Call Me Maybe <laughs> and concluded with everybody like hugging in the middle of the dance floor to Don't Stop Believing. And it was funny to observe because uh, it seems like it would be less special that everybody did that, but it was still pretty special at every single one because of the way that uh, everyone would just, you could tell they were like feeling this moment. So it was a pretty cool experience. Uh, when I think about people like kind of all wrapping their arms around each other uh, at the end of a, a dance session, uh, I think about college and at orientation, uh, like going into to freshman year, uh, we had a dance the second night of orientation, and uh, I like intentionally wore an underdog t-shirt, like a vintage underdog t-shirt, because I'm like, this is cool, and this is what college girls like. <laughs> it wasn't, and they didn't. <laughs> Uh, but there's there's video of that orientation, and it's it was the Alanis Morissette song, You Live, You Learn. Yeah. And I'm like singing along with it, like my arms around strangers. And uh, I, I've never pulled out the tape of a videotape before. Uh, and then a couple years ago, I watched it, and I'm like, oh, this needs to be destroyed. And I did. I just destroyed my college orientation. <laughs> Yeah, all right, yeah. Um, that, that all made me think of, um, you know those parachute, the rainbow parachutes that you like, you would do like, whoa, and then like, you try to like get under and stuff as kids? Yep. So um, I remember I grew up next door to a family that had six kids, and so there was a lot of us. <laughs> um, uh, and uh, they used to take out that parachute from the library when you could like, take it out from the library. Uh, that's a, that was a thing, that was a thing. You used to like take out like puzzles and toys and like puppets and like one of the things was the parachute thing. Like one time we got the parachute thing. And I just, I remember this like feeling of just being like, <gasps> the parachute thing from gym class. Cause like, it, like the parachute day in gym class was the best day of gym ever. Because it was the only day that gym that was like fun to me. I really hated gym in school. And like, but parachute day was great because you just you just I'll hold it and they do that and then you like wrap it around you and you just like be. <laughs> and that's that. This, if more gym was just about that, <laughs> I would have liked it a lot better. Library's turned into a mess and saw your phone. <laughs> Can't help it, okay? I mean, it's just so quiet in the libraries. I, I, I get very tense, and I make messes when I'm tense. <laughs> so you moved, you moved the periodicals, and you, you put in a bully <laughs> How does that make sense? There's plenty of research, Bob, that shows that bowling relieves tension. Plenty. For of who? research. For whom? 
for the person who moves stuff around, for the person that you order me about. That is the type of person that needs to lower tension, okay? Bowling, periodicals out of the way, and yeah, I'm, I make messes. What's happening? Kevin, I'm coming for your job. No more bowling. No more cricket up on the fourth floor. No, it's, 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 it's great. Cricket's wonderful. How could you do this to me? We've, we've known each other for so We started at this library together. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought we were on the same page. <laughs> and that's not a joke I take lightly. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm late. I was in a flash mob, and I just we hadn't we hadn't quite finished the whole thing, and so and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It will never happen again. I just was I just halfway through the food court, and then the flash mob. Get scrubbed up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. The, sorry. The, the, sorry. We opened the incision. Okay. I really shouldn't be in here. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll go back. I'm gonna go get back. Get back outside. Get I scrubbed go. up. Oh, she's here. She's here. Okay. Flash mob. Okay. Flash mob. <laughs> oh, I love those things. Yeah. 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 It was probably pretty cool. It was probably a catchy song. You know, like a Millie Vanilli song or something. I love both Millie and Vanilli. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get you all stitched up as long as, you know, as long as he gets back in here right away. Otherwise, you've lost a lot of blood. Yeah. You've lost I mean, a lot of blood. Yeah. Like, those weren't red pants. Can someone do that? <laughs> Doc? Can someone do the doors? Someone's gonna do the doors. Uh, <laughs> usually someone out here. No, look, 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 we are really together. short staffed. Just, oh, hey, sorry, wait, uh, flash mob. Yeah, we get right, listen, it was huge, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, look how much you bled. You. Why aren't you under anesthesia? <laughs> What's where? What is happening now? Oh, sorry, wait, sorry, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go, there we go. The anesthesia wore off. Oh, look, I did my job. Oh. <laughs> I just opened them up. I went to abbreviated medical school. Wait, you can't I don't know. Just how to do that until everything else is ready. Don't tell me how to do my job. It's all I do. Do this in order of operations. Yeah, I open them up. You don't get flash bobbed. Yeah, no. The anesthesiologist doesn't get flash bobbed, then everything works out. What was the difference? Not what I did. It's time for your review, and uh, I gotta say, it's not looking good. Because very clearly on this poster here. Mm -hmm. Order of operations. <laughs> Second one, don't get flash mobbed. And what happened in your last surgery? Ah, two flash mobs. Two flash mobs. <laughs> Do you see two flash mobs on this on this chart here? No. no. But no. no. It says don't. <laughs> Not yeah. do twice. That's the opposite of two. I know. No, it's, it's the opposite of two. It's, the, <laughs> it's, it's like, like the counter in a broad on sense. The if, you, if you think about it, two is a positive number. No is a negative. Four minus it's no is two. <laughs> no, well, I mean, four minus no in this case would be six because a minus a negative is positive. <laughs> <laughs> won the fantasy parachute competition this year, so the office pool is yours. $260. Oh! Do we get a swimming pool too? Yes, that's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. I was gonna dive in. Yeah. And maybe I could fill a pool with this money. Probably not. Maybe in change. No. We'll get it all in pennies. The swimming pool's down there. So, all yours now. I'll uh, see you next year at the big parachute championships. <laughs> Good luck. I hate it when girls win. <laughs> Whoa. That was sexist. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, That's it fun. Ma makes, it, <laughs> makes it feel makes good feel. taking this money and swimming in his gross pool. Yep. Thanks for calling us girls. Okay. Last time I checked, I was a woman. Yep. Thirty fucking six years old. All right. <laughs> it's like, what more can I do? I wear a suit everywhere I go. <laughs> Honestly, no, no, I don't. I mean, I vote. I have a mortgage. I vote so even in elections that I'm not a part of. Oh, I go to I'm other counties. Real. Right. You should be around that pool. Where are your parents? <laughs> <laughs> Could you go get one of your parents a 
want to tell them that you were playing by the pool without an adult. I'm sure that's against the rules. Fall in. Can't breathe water. You just don't know that yet. <laughs> Your whole lives are ahead of you. Don't waste them in this pool. It's not even that clean. Okay. My whole life isn't even ahead of me. I'm already a third through. <laughs> so that really cuts. I know. Oh, wow. This money's getting sweaty. Yeah. With my adult sweat. Yeah, yeah, my hands sweat more now, too. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Puberty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's just parachuting. It's it's such a man's world. Everyone always knows that. <laughs> you know the main mascot of parachutes. Men. <laughs> Man. I know this, you know this, we all Just know like this. that paper towel guy, just yeah. like that cleaning guy. Yeah. It's like, come on, can't we get one? Get one don't thing. tell me about Swiss Miss. <laughs> She's a girl. Wendy's, we get Wendy's too. We get Land of Lakes. Land of Lakes. Yeah. The dollar coin. It's actually on a dollar coin. Yeah. On one, yeah. That's true. So that's decent. It's not. No. <laughs> It's not enough. We need to take a stand. We have right a new meme right with the the lady with okay. the data and the lady with the that's true. picture. With the, yep. So that's cool. We can we can get loans. Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Hey, hey, oh, oh, uh, hey, sorry, hey, hey. Uh, Tina, can I can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah. Yeah, hey, uh, uh, yeah, you can totally stay. It's not awkward. Uh, <laughs> so you know about the the office prom. <laughs> <laughs> you know the party yeah. that I organized it's prom theme. Yeah, I've been seeing the flyer. Are you are you the adult? <laughs> <laughs> because they're very close to a pool and I've been you know, just oh, this generation, am I right? They're okay, sir! <laughs> yeah, anyway, uh, listen, uh just gotta hope maybe you could go with me. I wish you would have told me to go. This is, this is worse. No, I want you to stay. I want you to witness my little, uh, my proposal. No. Yeah. It's called a promposal. <laughs> right. Prom. Go oh, crazy. Imagine that. Being asked to the prom out of the blue. <laughs> oh, those days. <laughs> Too bad there's only a Sadie Hawkins dance coming around. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the work Sadie Hawkins dance yeah. for women. <laughs> one day a year we can finally be forthcoming with our feelings. It's nice having a quality in the office space. <laughs> yeah, you should um, wiggle your mouse so your desktop lights up. Oh man, that's such a good idea. I wish I had smart ideas like that all the time. Wiggle it. <laughs> See, it's me. Um, <laughs> click on me. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to unzip the file. <laughs> <laughs> it's zipped. Yeah, it's gonna I take some time. I don't, have, I don't have a good RAM. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I wanted to build. I wanted to build the tension, you know. Zippers remind me of prom. I don't know. <laughs> okay. it's, cra it's a crazy thing. Yeah. Yeah, your screensaver comes up really fast. Oh, man. <laughs> so it's like 30 seconds. Speaking really fast, my heart is kind of... It I hurts inside my chest right now. Yeah, that could be because you're middle-aged. <laughs> <laughs> idea what she was going to ask you then? You just sort of passed out before anything happened? <laughs> I kind of tensed all the muscles in my body at once. <laughs> yeah. It took all the, all the blood away from my brain and then I fell over apparently. Yeah. You had a um, mitochondrial event that we call it a heart attack. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, right before the Sydney Hawkins. <laughs> Jeff. Jeff. Jeff, get over here. Jeff. What? Jeffrey. Yes. Jeffrey with a G. <laughs> 
I got it, yes. <laughs> There's more kids moving into the neighborhood. Look at how many they have. That's a dozen. That is a dozen. That can't be cheap. <laughs> <laughs> ring, 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 ring. I think our ring. door is ringing. Phone <laughs> <laughs> ring. <laughs> Josephine, seriously anymore. We've <laughs> got at least a dozen of them. There's a dozen of them! Yes! Charlene, I can hear you! Yeah, it's because I got the phone like 90 degrees away yeah, from my yeah, ears. Yeah, yeah, so well, yeah. Like, you're, you're like in the middle. You're wow. in the middle. And I'm not doing the gossip right? Listen, <gasps> there's a dozen of them. Add that to the three that just moved in at Three Cherry. Add that to the seven that just moved in at, at Four Wilson. Add that to the nine that just moved in on Ten Robeson. How many is that? Thirty-one. I, no, I know. I've been keeping a tally. I, I don't know. I didn't follow it. It's too many kids. It's, it's too, too many, many kids. <laughs> I moved to this neighborhood specifically because the number of children in it was under five. And they were all over the age of ten. So they're practically. Practically adults. They wear, they wear suits, like, all the time. All the time! How's it going, neighbor? We're happy with our religion. <laughs> uh, no, that's, that's not why I'm here. Uh, I feel like every time you come over, it comes back to that. <laughs> I, well, I, I promise, I will not talk about any kind of religion, okay? Ooh. He that, brought his that, windy book again. Yeah, book. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty sacred to me. I saw this in Indiana Jones. <laughs> it's exactly like Indiana Jones, yeah. It's, uh, I'm not, I, I, I am not turning these pages. As you can see, it's just a book. Maybe more like Hocus Pocus, I'm not sure. Anyway. He was uh, tilting his hand. I feel like gravity was turning the pages. Oh no, he's a magician. <laughs> Gross. Why don't I just leave this book <laughs> With you. Just. Yes. All right, I'll get still. <laughs> See you tomorrow with a new book. Hey, uh, before you go. Yeah. There's a lot of kids in this neighborhood now. Yeah. Like, if you don't mind. Yeah, look through that window. Tons of kids. What is that, like 28? 31. Three of the, three of the ones from Robeson uh, had the chicken pox. So. Why are these old people watching me? <laughs> like, that is a lot of them. I can see the blinds. Like, they're, they're, they're creasing all the blinds. Just don't trust youths. Do I, do I wave? As if chicken pox or chronic drug use. <laughs> oh, I think he just twitted at me. That was a gang symbol. Oh. <laughs> no, me too. What? Did he just get rocket mail? 
I'm going to devote my life to good. So many gangs. <laughs> That's it. I have the VHS of our wedding. I'm going to destroy it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. We don't need that. Our love is so real. Oh. Flesh and blood. Oh, I was just trying to. Okay, yeah. I was. What is all this it's anyway? It's our wedding tape. I was going to destroy it in front of you and then ask for a divorce, but this took a turn. Oh! <laughs> um, yeah, I was just going to pull the tape out. And then ask for a divorce? Well, it would destroy our marriage, symbolically. Look, it's just a natural segue. Just hold the tape in front of him, tear the tape, right, the tape out, right out, and then divorce will just naturally come as a conversation, and it's just so going to end like that. What you do symbolically? Yeah, yep, right. and you'll be like, oh, look, it's the marriage it's over. It's over. It's and that's going to be it. It's going to take like this. 10 minutes. Okay, 10 minutes tops. Okay. See, I started pulling it up, then it got stuck, so it only a little bit came out, but yeah, so I was in my gonna, head, I was, it was going to be a lot. I was going to get a snack if you want a snack. It seemed like you would go to snack. I am there. a little bit hungry, just but it does best for you. Just want to help you. This isn't you. helping what I want to do right now. <laughs> well, it looks like you're going through a hard time right now with That's that tape. I don't know, you know, you wanted I to destroy it. I was trying to destroy our yeah, it's I was stuck. Trying to destroy weird. Our marriage. Wedding. It's almost like somebody poured a whole bottle of Elmer's glue in there. <laughs> 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 Look, I know it's hard, but what you're going to need to do okay. before she can do anything is you have to protect the VHS copy of your wedding. <laughs> I'm ready. I've got $5 and I know how to get to CVS. What do I got to do? All right. Here's what you do. Whatever you can find that right. will make it so the tape can't be pulled out all the way. Okay. Because if it's only pulled out a little, yeah. you're fine. A master lock. I don't know if CBS sells master okay. <laughs> I mean, even like, I don't know, glue. Sorry, without a destroyed VHS tape, I can't approve these divorce papers. <laughs> <laughs> wait, Honey, wait, just wait. wait in the car. I got you a fresh coffee. I'll meet you when you're done with lawyer. All right. Yeah. So, about to shred these. So my mom ripped up the VHS of my birth. Whoa, she ripped it up. Am I dead? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're at we're at thirteen thousand feet. We're gonna go up another thousand feet and then jump. Okay. All right. Is that your parachute? Because I don't know. I just it was. It was in the corner of the, of the helicopter. Okay. So hey. I just kind of grabbed it. Hey. Why does my parachute have come with a skirt? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense, huh? <laughs> Why my parachute has to, I have to wear a skirt in the front? All right. That doesn't that, really make any sense. Mine doesn't have a skirt. Right, it just says property of Carmel and Public Library. My parachute, has, <laughs> my parachute has a skirt and eyelashes on top. Right. Why does mine have eyelashes, but his doesn't? Yes. We both have eyelashes. It doesn't make any sense. Here's the thing. Your parachute is only 79% the size of his parachute. So I need the skirt? Yup. <laughs> it's airflow. You know what? Let me bring in our mascot to explain it to you. Man! Oh. Man, Damn come it. on in here. Hey. No, I kind of get it. All right. I'm a man. <laughs> I am so uncomfortable. Can you explain why my parachute has eyelashes and his doesn't have eyelashes? And do you want one? I have average intelligence and average looks and average height, and I'm a man, so yes. I can tell you lots of stuff. <laughs> Whether you want to hear it or not, oh, man is going to tell you. Oh, yeah. yeah. Skirts were invented in the uh, 1500s. By Kurt Skirtington. Uh, <laughs> I believe him! To help women get. <laughs> That's such a great idea. What, Kurt? What is your idea? <laughs> it's, like, it's like pants. <laughs>
Uh huh. But they're not connected in the middle, and they're a little bit shorter. <laughs> well, I can't wear those. I'm a man. My bits will fall out. <laughs> it was never intended for you to wear. That's why there's pink and frills on it. It seems cumbersome. Will that affect women? Well, they won't let them ride a bike for a while. Oh, here we are in the 15th century with all these bicycles. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to get big in a few hundred years. <laughs> Both wheels or just one? Oh, it depends. It depends. First there's going to be a big one in the front, then there's going to be a big one in the back, and then they'll be safety together. Oh, that doesn't make any sense, Kurt. What? Oh, just bicycles in general. Look, the point is this. How are women going to sit wearing skirts? Why, of course, their knees will touch. They'll be slightly off to the side, and their bag will be right next to them. Seems very cumbersome, uncomfortable, and unnecessary. Exactly! <laughs> <laughs> wow, men are terrible. Well, look at our mascot, man! Come here, man! What's up? What do you think of this idea, man? Skirts? Will it make them uncomfortable? Will they be self-conscious all the time and always have to be aware of their own bodies and never be fully present in the moment? I love it! Thank you! From Kurt Skirtington! <laughs> it's good that I got to know you firsthand and that I live forever. <laughs> I remember in the 1200s, before pants, before pants even, when we all... What did we wear then, man? <laughs> Tell us about the before pants times. Ah, you know, it was just a blanket that you had to carry around your body. Who invented that? <laughs> it was... Yep. It was ye old. Uh -huh. Scott Sheeterman. <laughs> Scott, come back to bed. Get out of my studio! front door. Should I have been further? Should I have gone through the threshold or should I have been further away? No. Should I have been further away? Just send me a text. So I'm here. Okay. <clears throat> I just didn't want you to not see me. It's like I just I don't know why it's embarrassing that I was in the doorway to say don't hi. It's embarrassing. Here. Don't know why it's embarrassing. I'm here to pick you up in your ride. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's at the door. I have to rush down there. I have to, I have to take care of that right away. You're not comfortable in the car? I was, I'm, no, I'm here to get you. You should come. You should come right away. If I texted you, would just you would have just waited. I would have just waited, but I, I feel like I could have had a little more freedom and time on my hands, knowing that you're in the comfort of your Toyota Corolla. <laughs> right, but we have, we have places to, to go. You know, I was picking you up at this time because it was time to pick you up. 
So you should have come when I, so, well, so good thing I came to the front door then, because then if you wouldn't have come when I texted, mister. No, no, please stay connected with me. I want to know what you do at school. Please stay connected with me. 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 I want to know about your friends. Stay connected with me. Stay connected. Tell, tell, who was at the party? Was your, your friend, your, your friend Jake? You're still Jake? Jake friends of Jake? Jake seems nice. Jake's manly. Oh. <laughs> Did he come to the front door? <laughs> <laughs> no, come on, no, okay. Okay, Jake, what happened with Jake? 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 Jake, what happened with Martin, Martin, is Martin good? Martin's still good? <laughs> Martin, you like Martin, right? Martin's a, someone you connect with. To have like all the way to the door? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, you know, wanted you to know that I was here. I was here and I was ready to pick you up and that was, it was time. We're gonna go, I'm gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna make, um, Elbows and meat sauce tonight, so I wanted to get that, but I hadn't even start, I didn't start that yet. So I wanted to get that going, but I wanted to get, okay. You don't have to be, that's fine. That's fine. Do you wanna? Who's that tall one in your class, that real tall one? He shot up over the summer. He was a lot shorter, and he really shot up. His mother, his poor mother, she almost had to buy all new clothes for him. <laughs> oh my goodness, that has to be a whole thing. He's big. His feet are large too. He's good. But he's starting to get that little bit of stubble, so you know he's still growing. A big sign with the letter P. <laughs> Put more money into that. A big sign with the letter R. Big sign with the letter O. You just hope it's worth it, right? Big sign with the letter M. <laughs> Big sign, P. <laughs> Big sign, O. Big sign, S. Big sign, A. Big sign, L. Big sign, question mark. Picture of Jim. <laughs> Martin? <laughs> Were you going to problem me? Proposal. I did it wrong. <laughs> no, 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 no